Arrow Season 2, Episode 15, titled The Promise. Uh, needless to say, this was an amazing episode. I mean, the biggest portion of it was taken, you know, did take place during the flashbacks, which I actually enjoyed because, you know, we got to see them take over the ship and, you know, it was inevitable, you know, the ending that happened with Slade and Oliver, you know, obviously Slade finding out that Oliver, you know, was put in a position where he had to choose between Shadow and Sarah and in a sense he chose Sarah, but obviously we know it's not exactly as simple as that, but Slade did find out and what I thought was going to happen in this episode was we would see the fight between Slade and Oliver where you know, Oliver took Slade's eye. I thought it was I thought that was going to be what happened. I thought, you know, he's going to find out they're going to have their fight and then it's going to be pretty much the end of the flashbacks or at least, you know, the end of the flashbacks for, you know, a certain amount of time until you know, something happened with Slade in the present, but you know, it's still going really strong in the flashbacks and I'm really excited to see how the flashbacks keep going now that you know, Slade has taken over the ship, which if you remember from the beginning of this season, the ship is still on the island, or at least, you know, in the waters near the island. It's just, it's been destroyed, but it's still there. And so Slade has this ship that eventually gets destroyed, and obviously, we you know, Slade loses his eye, which is gross to see under the eye patch at the end of this episode, but also kind of cool. But, you know, they're on the boat, Oliver's taken prisoner. I do believe Ivo is still alive in the present I think he may come back because um I knew I remembered I couldn't remember what he did in like the DC universe until I saw the name of the ship and it's Amazo and Amazo is like the android that can take the superheroes powers and copy them so I think you know they might not do that in this just because it's Green Arrow and not exactly you know like Superman or one of the other superheroes he's just one of the heroes kind of like Batman but I think he might still be alive, and he could still come back in some different way. But it was cool that we got to see kind of th his reasoning for doing all of this, and it was to protect his wife who had what I can only guess was like dementia or something, and that's why she couldn't actually remember who he was when um, he called her. But, you know, he kind of gets his opportunity to say, like, you know, you chose and stuff, and, you know, he kind of put, pits Oliver and Slate against each other, but... It was an amazing episode and now you know Sarah's off on the island with some of the other prisoners that she helped escape so I'm really excited to see because I thought you know that's like I said I thought that's where everything happened I thought that's where he got slayed that's where he thought you know she might have died and all this stuff I thought it all happened at once and it probably does it just didn't happen in this episode so I'm excited to see what Sarah does with you know like the other prisoners that she helped escape onto the island because they obviously made a point of introducing some of those prisoners, like the guy that, you know, Oliver first met with the beard, so he's going to be a fairly main character now, and so will the new guy they introduced, who's the priest with the mouse, and then they might have the other guy come back who was trying to kill Sarah. He might end up being on the island, and, you know, he might, it might take time, but he might kind of warm up to her and realize, you know, she was a prisoner too, she just kind of did what she had to to not get you know shot and wounded and stuff but really excited to see how it plays out love the whole episode of course but the flashback was really cool especially when they were jumping off the ship because i thought that was where the fight was about to take place and slave just grabs him um grabs oliver and just lifts him up and slams him on his back but it was really really cool and also um seeing oliver training on the island was really cool because now his character on the island is the character he is in the present tense and I thought you know we finally got to get that episode where he changed from the guy who was you know freaking out and getting beat up and stuff and he still is sort of that because you could still see it where he'd be happy about this or happy about that but he has changed a lot and he has he's a lot closer to his present version now than he is to being you know the young teenager who's just like freaking out about you know people shooting at him and stuff so it was cool to get him in that sort of training montage where he's running through the forest and you know he's shooting at the different trees and the first time he's close but you know he's off a little and then you know eventually gets that one target but it was really cool to get that scene too and you know he has the you know the hood and stuff now and 
he's gonna be a little bit more advanced while on the island although at this point you know he's captured so we won't get to see that for a while i don't think but once he's off i think or off the ship at least you know we'll get to see that a little bit more in the flashbacks as well so that should be really cool and then of course in the present scene everything was just like high level tension like what's gonna happen what is Slade doing and you know one of my favorite scenes was towards the beginning when you know Oliver tries to like stab him with the ice pick that was just a really cool scene because he was like you know he sensed it pretty much and he grabs him and just like squeezes his hand until he lets it go and you know he's just it's just like what's happening it was very it was just very well done it was just that amazing amount of tension like what is gonna happen and they kind of you know had that sort of they seemed like they were about to have a fight but Slade knew he was outnumbered and one of my favorite scenes without a doubt was when he saw Sarah because the face he made when she was just like Oliver he's just like what the hell like she's alive I didn't know that but that was one of the funniest things I saw and you know when he was when he shook Roy's hand that was you know he was like he instantly knew like he survived so I have to you know I, I can't get this kid but you know he's one of them I have to find a way to capture this guy so I think that's gonna eventually be an episode where he's gonna try to take Roy because you know obviously as we've seen no one really survives this stuff except like Slade and now Roy so I think Slade's gonna try to he might not try to turn him over because he knows like you know obviously he's a good kid but he's gonna do something and he could do you know that could be a way for Ivo to come back with some weird chemical that creates that kind of controls people mentally so that could be you know a plot line that we get later on but that was some really good tension and you know he shook his hand and then you know finding Sarah and they're all in the room and he's like you know I was like you know so what would you like to do now and he's looking at the two of them and he like turns around slowly and looks at Roy and he's like mm -hmm. like I know exactly what's going on here I know I'm outnumbered so you know, he took it all in and was like, all right, I assessed the situation. As strong as I am, I know what these two can do, and I know this kid at least has super strength like me, so that could prove to be a challenge. <clears throat> but, you know, he he decided to take his leave. I don't know who knocked out Diggle when he was going to take his shot. At first, it seemed like someone who was in body armor, so I thought maybe um, Slate isn't actually Deathstroke yet, or maybe he has someone else who kind of poses as him as well or something like that but it could have just been anyone in any sort of body armor but I'm excited to see who that is because he mentioned you know like I have my allies just like you have yours and when he said that the first thing I thought was you know maybe it was Deadshot who knocked out Diggle and then I thought you know it doesn't make sense because he was in prison and the woman kind of came up to him um you know like mentioning the suicide squad and stuff which I will definitely get to because ironically that came up after the episode went off but, you know, it's like, you know, no, it wouldn't be him, but he has allies, so I'm really curious to see how that plays out. And now he has an inside look inside the house because everything he was touching, he was putting little cameras on. So, you know, he has an inside look into the house. He knows the layout of the house for sure. He's going to learn that easily. So it'll lead up to something really huge if he decides, you know, I'm going to take down the house and maybe he'll do it if you know Moira does end up getting selected or even when she's just having like the um inauguration or the um voting party or whatever having all of her people there maybe that's when Slade will strike just because it'll be a grand audience or something or it could be you know really low or something like that but I think he would do it during a grand audience just because that would make it a lot harder for Oliver to just come in as like you know Green Arrow and solve the problem it's like you know you have to show who you are to all these people and stuff obviously Oliver would do it but I feel like that's how it might play out if you know Slade decided to do that but he has allies which I'm curious about he has an inside look he has one eye which we knew but looks gross on the inside I didn't expect them to do that like in any way but you know he took off the eye patch and you could you know see inside of his eye like the little um fleshy strings and stuff it was a really gross description but that's what it was but love the episode overall like everything about it was amazing I thought the whole thing would be in flashbacks when they started the first one and you know fortunately it wasn't that way I was glad to see that it kind of went um this was just one of those episodes where it was mostly flashback and then five or ten minutes a piece we get the present tense which they did I believe 
in the season finale of the first season or like the episode before the season finale or something like that <laughs> but this was definitely one of those episodes and it was sort of a season finale type of episode i mean just the way it ended of course i'm super happy that it isn't the season finale but the last one could have easily been the season finale too where like they introduced slade and then it's like you know we go to season three or something like that but cannot wait for the next you know next week's episode i mean obviously slate is in it you know they showed the little mask on the pipe which he i don't know if it's the same one he took from the island if he like went back after um oliver and stuff oliver and company i guess went back because they were on they went to the island in the beginning of this season so if he went there afterwards and that's how he got the mirakuru then you know maybe that's how things kind of it started up in this season that's how he in, decided to go into the whole brother blood thing and stuff like that he eventually went back to the island and went back to the ship and got all the mirakuru but you know like they showed him standing on a building they showed the mass from the island and stuff so i'm really excited that they aren't you know it would be really hard for them to skip over that as far as the storyline because you know some shows do that where it's like the big main storyline and then the next episode will be sort of a one shot but you know sometimes when things are so big you can't have like a simple one shot episode because this guy's coming in to like just kill everybody so fortunately they aren't doing that and he's going to be i would assume he's going to be the main story but he could be the side story and either way it's going to be very intense for that but the others you know side of next week's episode or well, it's not even next week i think it's march 18th or something like that um the other side of that is the Suicide Squad, so I'm very excited for that, and we're gonna have, you know, Deadshot, White Tiger, um, whoever that woman was, I don't know what her name is, and there's some other characters, I don't really know everything about the Suicide Squad, but definitely excited about that, I can't wait to see how that plays out, I'm hopefully, and, you know, this kind of just occurred to me, hopefully we'll get to see Diggle get sort of a uh, an important you know portion of next week's or the next episode because you know with Deadshot in the squad if they introduce the squad to the main characters of course they're gonna have Deadshot in there and Diggle will be able to personally like get his own you know get his own portion of an episode finally because I feel like and I've mentioned this before he hasn't really had much since um you know like just before the mid-season finale which was when they went to Russia, and it was just like, you know, that was all Diggle, and then after that, he's had, like, you know, bits and pieces here and there, and it's just like, you know, like, what, we don't get to see any of Diggle outside of these little portions, like, in this one, obviously, we got to see everybody, and it was good to see Roy, by the way, I kind of left out that, you know, we got to see him actually on the bow, which was pretty cool, and him talking about, like, you know, at least, I, I thought I'd at least hit something, and stuff like that, that was cool to get him in the episode, of course and the whole team was together but you know i feel like if we get the suicide squad we'll get to see diggle and that's what i want to see more than anything definitely diggle getting some real screen time and you know that would be really nice to get for him but either way you know a lot about diggle or nothing about diggle which would suck it's going to be an amazing episode when it comes back and i cannot wait to see it because we're going to get slayed we're going to get him doing whatever he does we might get brother blood back back because i feel like he kind of you know sort of disappeared like you think there was with more kind of going into um her campaign against him you think we get a little bit more out of him or like some more screen time with him but we haven't seen anything since the one episode with laurel when you know people were kind of like you know this guy's a good guy you know there are no problems with him and since then he's kind of just been like somewhere like who knows where this guy is but He's just gone, but I'm definitely excited. No matter what comes in the next episode, it's going to be amazing. But comment below, let me know what you guys thought of this episode, favorite parts, least favorite parts, and definitely with how things ended in the flashbacks, how do you guys think the storyline's going to go? And, you know, now that Sarah's on the island with the prisoners and Oliver is a prisoner, you know, with Slade, how do you guys think the flashback storyline is going to go? you know now that everyone's you know kind of been split up and you know slaves kind of off his rocker comment below let me know and thanks for watching